everybody, I'm going to take you through our ECSD Secure Chromebook Exam Procedure for the Lead Proctor in three easy steps. The first thing we're going to be doing is using a Windows machine. We're going to be opening up a Chrome browser and we're going to be going incognito. In order to open up an incognito window, you're going to be typing in Control Shift N or Command Shift N on a Mac. Once your incognito window is open, we're just going to be typing in Google to the browser bar to pull up a sign in page. Once you see the blue sign in button in the top right hand corner of the incognito window, you're going to be signing in using the Proctor account that was assigned to your school. Now it's really important to note here, only the lead Proctor is going to be using this exam account. We only want one cook in the kitchen. All of our teacher supervisors and everybody else will be signed into Chrome using their regular ECSD username credentials. So for the lead Proctor, it's that one person who's signing into the account in order to create the Google Classroom, to create the exam assignment, and to set up the student uh, usernames and passwords. So you'll put in your unique Proctor account with your four digit school code, and then you'll be put prompted to enter your password. Our passwords will be reset each year, and you'll be able to contact MTech or IITS for those passwords. So now that you're signed in, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be visiting classroom.google.com. And this is where we're going to go in order to create our exams. Now you can see I have a couple of test ones in here just playing around, but what you're going to notice is we're going to hit the plus button in the top right hand corner and we're going to create a class. You're going to name the class specifically for the exam that the students are writing. It's important to know that you have one digital exam for every physical exam space that you're going to run in your school. So if you have English 30-1 being written in this room, and then also this room, you would have two different uh, digital exam rooms set up for them as well. And it's also very important to note that for our accommodation classrooms, we'll be setting those up separately as well in a, in a following video. By naming the exam specifically uh, for the, the exam that's being written and where it's being supervised, it'll be easier later to locate it if you need to. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit create. Now that the classroom is all set up, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I secure my exam so that students can't communicate with each other during the exam. I do that by going to the gear, which is the class settings feature of Google Classroom. And from there, the default is that students can post and comment. I need to make sure that I change that to only teachers can post and comment. Now that that's set up, I'm able to create the assignment for the actual exam. So it's that simple, very easy to set up the Google Classroom, make sure that you secure it, make sure you're doing that under the Proctor account. In the next video, you're going to see how to add the exam as an assignment.